What's up everybody, Georgia Bassmasters here, just giving you all a quick video. Um, a lot of times people are discouraged from, you know, you get out to the lake and somebody's on the spot that you're wanting to fish. Well, that kind of happened to me and my dad. This guy had been fishing it hard for over an hour. We didn't let it discourage us because we saw kind of how he was fishing and he was fishing a little bit differently than us. And we were also planning on using a different type lure over there because we know what they had been hitting. So this guy had been throwing a Cinco and all this other kind of stuff around this little island for about an hour. So what we did was as soon as he got done fishing it, we just hopped straight on it, started fishing it right after him. And I kid you not, my dad landed one that was six plus within two minutes of fishing this spot right after that guy had left. And I caught a pretty decent little chunk out there too. So basically the point of this video is don't be discouraged just because somebody's on a spot that you want, if they leave, go over there and fish it. Use a different technique, a different style, you know, a different method. So if they're fishing deep or if they're fishing Texas rig, you can fish Carolina rig. Use a different uh, size bait they're using. Sometimes people will go around these spots and fish these little bitty Ned rigs. And I'll come in there with a 12 inch worm and I'll hammer a big bass. So. Just wanted to record this video as just an encouragement to, for y'all and tip to go ahead and fish that spot. I don't care if you have to fish behind somebody, I, it doesn't matter. If you know what you're doing, you're gonna catch fish. So let's go ahead and get to this video. You crazy, it's like a seven pounder. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Yeah, can I just stop right here and say that my dad is the world's worst on having a big bass and then saying, no, nah, I don't need a net. And then when the bass gets to the boat, it's like I have to scramble to find the net. And I'm the world's worst at hooking a dink and thinking it's a monster. So we're kind of opposite on that, but I just wanted to pause the video and be like, what's going on? Like, dad always does that. He always get a big bass and just be like, nah, it's not that big. And then get up to the boat and it's big. So let's get back to the video. Don't let that thing hook you now. I thought about just lifting him, but it looked like it was he was hooked on the side of the mouth. Easy there. Yep. Let me again. I think it is. Oh, it ain't that big. I can both swing it. Yeah. Oh, jig bass. He's white too. He's been down there. There you go, buddy. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that'll encourage you to not be discouraged if somebody's out there fishing a spot. Go ahead and fish it anyway. Like I said, try a different style, a different method. Fish it anyway. Doesn't matter what they're doing. Go ahead and fish it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I put out these fishing tips and videos every week. Like the video, guys. Comment down below. Have you ever caught a big bass like this right after somebody got done fishing a spot? Because my dad does it all the time. I'll be like, oh, let's go over here. He's like, nah, we'll go over there and fish a spot that somebody's already fished and he'll catch a monster every time. He's the best at it. So comment down below, have you guys ever done that? And uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.